Hi guys, in this video, I hope to give my experience working as a data analyst in the healthcare industry. I want to explain to you guys what got me into data in the first place, uh, my background sort of as a researcher, and then, moving, uh, and then moving into a data analyst role. And then lastly, I want to finish with some advice. So what got me into data in the first place? So I've always been into logic and maps, would often overthink and overanalyze things and sometimes we struggle to connect with people. During my time at university studying maths with statistics, a friend who moved into our shared house introduced me to the world of AI and machine learning. He introduced me to an online course by Andrew NG, some of you might know the name, um, on Coursera, and I just blasted through all the courses, and my background with maths really helped with that. I decided to teach what I learned through my articles. Every time I would learn a new algorithm, I'll try to explain it in an article and also accompany it with a video. I would like to touch on a little bit later on as to why I got into healthcare specifically. During my time at university, I managed to land a job as a researcher in health data science, where I really honed my programming skills, especially in Python, and I learned how to apply multiple machine learning algorithms to quite large, complex data sets. Some of these algorithms, which you might have heard of or not, include HDB Scan, UMAP, and XGBoost, and trying to get even a high level understanding of these algorithms took me a considerable amount of time. So I worked on several projects in this research company. One of the most notable ones was to try to find clusters of individuals that suffer from multiple long-term conditions, so MLTC, and to try to see how these clusters develop over time and what influences people transitioning from one cluster, from one cluster of MLTC to another cluster. Is it environmental factors, social factors, or perhaps lifestyle factors that affects people that affects people transitioning from different clusters of MLTC. I would focus my research efforts in answering questions such as these. Data was often served to me on a plate. I wasn't made aware of how it was extracted, transformed and loaded, completely oblivious to any data engineering practices. I just simply took the data, did some cleaning and then applied algorithms and then noted any insights I gained from the data. Research is a different beast and requires a lot of patience and in general involves a lot of exploratory analysis. It requires strong focus and communication skills and is a great opportunity to develop your knowledge in specific areas of data science or data engineering depending on what field you're in. I wanted a change but wanted to remain in the healthcare industry and an opportunity arose to do with a healthcare company concerned with cardiothoracic surgery. The job role looked very flexible and touched on areas of data engineering which I was very intrigued in but didn't know much about. I decided to apply with the hope of expanding my skill set. After two interviews, I managed to land the job. Thank God. I'm now about five months into the position and I've learned a lot, not just about data analysis, but also medicine. This is something you can definitely expect working in the healthcare industry. Domain knowledge is key in this field. Also, just having an understanding of the bigger picture of healthcare and data can really develop your career. Before transitioning to this data analytics job, I was quite clueless when it came to data regulations such as GDPR and also standard data practices in medicine. I was very fixated on just understanding and implementing complex algorithms, but lacked general knowledge of the field. Thankfully, I've been presented with many opportunities to expand my knowledge and also engage with leaders in healthcare data. Around three months into the job, I was tasked with data standardization. And for you data engineers out there, you know, you might know how difficult this task might be. In simple terms, it's about gathering data from multiple sources and putting it into one standard format. More specifically, in my case, it's about gathering data from different hospitals and putting them all in one standard format. For example, one hospital might record sex as M and F, another hospital as male and female, and another hospital as one and two. We want to have that data in one format. Doing this in common programming languages such as Python can be very time consuming. For this, I had to learn a cloud platform called Azure, which is very point to click, but also allows coding in specific cases. I was always very interested in cloud platforms and how they can help with data practices. And thankfully this job has provided me with the opportunity to develop my knowledge in this area. In addition to this duty, I'm also conducting code reviews, reviewing statistical methodologies, performing data extracts in Python for researchers, and writing scripts to test the functionality of one of the platforms that we're developing. I can't say for certain that these are tasks that you would expect working in data analytics in the healthcare industry, 
but you should expect jobs that go beyond your traditional duties. So what's it like working in the healthcare industry specifically? In my opinion, it adds a lot more meaning to the job. You're not just helping the rich get richer, but you're genuinely trying to use data to improve people's lives. Although you're not on the front line as doctors are you know, in A&E, where they're dealing directly with patients, you are able to help in your own way. As I mentioned earlier, working in the healthcare industry requires immense domain knowledge. I often find myself consulting with a scientific need to help me define certain medical terms, and this is especially useful in data engineering practices, such as data standardization. Collaboration with doctors and healthcare professionals is essential in this field because your work can have a direct impact on people's lives. Working in healthcare comes with a particular attention to data privacy and data security. We need to ensure that any data that is stored in our system is stored securely and is fully anonymized where possible. Healthcare data is extremely sensitive and attractive to hackers. When it comes to receiving data from data requests or transferring medical data, we have to pay extra caution. I would like to finish this video with advice for those that are aspiring for a career in data. Be well-rounded. If you're into data, understand the roles that govern this field. I was very fixated on data science, but disliked how data was just being served to me on a plate without having any knowledge of how it got there. I think it is important to have knowledge in each data role, but to specialize in one. Learn a cloud platform. Whether it's Microsoft Azure, AWS, or Google Cloud, pick a platform, take some courses, and apply your knowledge to your work. It is important to leverage these technologies to enhance your work, but also to let you know what is possible. Make use of the golden age. In 2006, a statement was made that data is the new oil. I still think this statement is highly applicable today. All these AI systems that we are seeing being built around us, they're all underpinned by data. Now is a great time to start. Show your work. Data analysts, data engineering, data science, these are all huge fields. And you need a way to keep track of your learning. You could write down everything that you have learned in a note-taking app such as Obsidian or OneNote, but the issue with keeping all your work here is that employers aren't made aware of your work or your knowledge. By teaching what you learn online, not only do you consolidate your knowledge, but it also provides you with the opportunity to showcase your work, develop your communication skills. Working in data analytics often comes with a lot of technical terms and concepts, and it's important that you're able to translate these concepts to people that aren't too familiar with the field. Try taking what you learn to your friends and family and question them to keep them engaged and also check their understanding. Also to ensure that you're explaining it well. Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you found this video insightful. For those of you that are aspiring for a career in data, all the best. Please let me know your thoughts of this video in the comments.